welcome back. I wanted to take a moment today and show you around my brand new studio. I am super excited about this space. It is the room, the office that I've always wanted. Uh, I feel very adulty having my own space. Uh, the reason why I've never shown you around any of my studios before, more than little glimpses of what you can see in the background, is because my husband and I always shared a studio space together. So not only it was mine, it was also his and it felt like a little bit of an invasion of his privacy so uh, now that I have my own room I thought I would give you a little tour show you all my bits and bobs um, I did clean up especially for you today it is not normally this clean or organized um, there's typically 16 different projects happening uh, but I thought I would take the excuse to clean it up and show you around So this is the entrance to my new studio space. Uh, right when you walk in, I have my clothing rack. It's a folding clothing rack, which is really great. So when I have nothing on it, it can just fold up flat right against the wall. And I keep all of my current costumes on there, anything I'm working on, um, any undergarments I need to try on for whatever project I'm currently doing. Also is currently hat storage because hats are impossible to store. <laughs> All of my finished costumes go in my closet in the bedroom when I'm done with them. Over here I have my whiteboard, so just to keep track of all the projects I'm working on. As you can see here, I'm working on getting prepped for costume college at the end of July, so all the things I need to do for that, as well as new project ideas, um, things I'm saving for that sort of thing, just my general uh, tracking system. My studio ring light lives here when it is not uh, in use. Normally it would sit down here and be used to light up my table, but for now it lives over here when it's not in use. I think we just got it on Amazon, not really sure. This is some storage that I have. These are just the Ikea, I think it's called Kalax uh, shelves. Um, this is a piece of art that my sister made for me. Beautiful painting. I love that. Uh, so up here I have my American Duchess shoes. I have extra thread. Oh, it really does not want to focus. So up here I have um, American Duchess shoes on the right, some embroidery thread, um, some D&D dice, my D&D dice box that my husband made me, and some, just some reference books that I have. And then down below is all of my storage for uh, different materials. So I have trims, I have closures. Um, most of the left side is all patterns. So for example, on the top drawer, these are all of my historical patterns and I keep all my patterns in Ziploc bags by, by pattern. So I have historical, I have a drawer for vintage patterns, and I have a drawer for modern patterns. Please ignore the labels, they're not necessarily correct. Um, and then some of the bottom drawers, I just have random bits and bobs, wig pieces and such. Uh, and the bottom baskets are just sort of random catch-all things that don't have another home. The next piece, uh, again, this is another, it's an Ikea piece. Um, it's just one of their like little kitchen carts. Um, on it are all of our D&D uh, &D mini painting supplies. So my husband and I play Dungeons and Dragons and my husband has uh, 3D printers. He does resin printing and we're currently working on um, some terrain. Uh, we have a bunch of different miniatures. There are boxes and boxes of miniatures at the bottom that I need to finish painting. This is our little cart because we both work on it, we both paint, so we can fill this up with everything and I can wheel it off to his office um, or it can live in here. It has its own little spot. Next up is my hand sewing corner or I often sit here and work on my laptop. I got this lamp from Facebook Marketplace. I think it's actually an old Pottery Barn lamp, but I think it was like $10 on Facebook Marketplace, which is awesome. The chair is an Ikea classic, and then this stool was a grad school project that I made. Um, it's actually, the top comes off so you can recover it really easily. And next up is my desk area. I love to look out on this window. I have a really beautiful view. It's not going to focus very well on that. I have a beautiful view of the southern hills of Las Vegas. 
My desk is currently set up for mini paintings. We have all of our paints and I also use this as my desk. The desk itself is again from Ikea. You'll see a recurring theme here. The chair I love, it is from a thrift store uh, where, near where my parents live. Next up is my sewing desk. Um, those are the Ikea Alex drawers that I've had for years and years. Uh, and then we built this slightly ramshackle table out of some Ikea legs and a custom MDF top uh, just to make more use of the space that we had. And so far it's worked fairly well. Um, eventually I'd like to kind of upgrade the whole thing, but for now it's serving the function it needs to. It holds my, my serger and my sewing machine. And despite the fact that this is only leg room for sort of one person at one time, I can actually have my sewing machine kind of off to the side and my serger and I kind of balance them back and forth as I need to and there's plenty of room there. Above I have some pictures you've probably seen before, they've been in my backdrop of my great grandmother and my grandmother. I love those. They're very inspirational for all the pieces that I make. So on this wall I have my pegboard with all of my scissors and notions and allows me to easily access it from not only my cutting table but also my sewing table whenever I need it. And the rest of the wall is family pictures and some really beautiful art pieces that I have collected or have been handed down to me throughout the years. As we come back around I have some more art. We have a dog kennel. You will notice that he is missing in this video. He's not running around underneath my feet like he normally is. Uh, he has gone to daycare today, so he's off having fun while I film. And then I have space here for my traditional ironing board. Um, it kind of, it doesn't always live right where it is. Sometimes it floats and lives in this space. It can actually sit here and then I have enough room to still walk by and, and do things. Um, but for now it's sort of pushed out of the way over there. And then in the center, and then lastly, in the center of the room, I have my work station cutting table. On this side of the cutting table, I don't know if I can show you very well, let's see. On this side of the cutting table, I have all of my fabric stash. So on the top, you'll see um, I have my ironing. In the back, I have current project fabric, things I haven't cut into yet. And then the stack on the end is fabric that I've used for a project, but uh, I've saved large pieces of it. And then on the bottom are all of my bins of different sizes of um, scrap fabric. So things that I use for mock-ups, I have lots of old sheets, and it goes the, from left to right, there's the largest pieces, and then things slowly get smaller as you move to the right-hand side. On top, I have my ironing board. Uh, my husband and I made this out of, I think it was just a couple of pieces of MDF and some batting and a piece of muslin. And what's great is it's screwed together on the bottom with little tiny screws. So if I ever need to change out the muslin, I can just pop it apart and recover it really easily. Over here we have Martha, who generally floats around the middle of the room. She doesn't really have a corner that she lives in um, most often. She just kind of sits in the middle wherever she needs to be. And on this side I have my printer, I have some containers for filming equipment, and then a bin for any current projects that I have going on um, on the left hand side there. Um, so if I have small pieces or pieces of fabric I don't want lost, I just stick them in that bin down there. I actually have an empty bin on the bottom and a whole empty shelf, which I'm sure someday will be filled up with something, but currently are empty. And then around the back, I have my, my trash can fits right in the back there, which I love, so I can stand here and work and iron and work on my ironing board and then I can just throw scraps and trash in here. And then my iron is plugged in back here and lives here, so it's just really easy um, to grab it when I'm working. So most of the time, if I'm working at my table, I stand back here. And I think that is it. Oh, I have out in the hallway there, I have my mirror for when I need to look at things. Eventually, I would like to get a bigger full-length mirror, 
so I can see all of me at once instead of just the top half. But for now, that works pretty well. I think that is it. This is where I spend most of my days and where all my projects happen. If you have any questions about anything you've seen, uh, feel free to pop them in the description bar below and I will be happy to answer them for you. That's all for now and I will see you in the next one. Bye!